already students we are going through the topic inventory valuation and there is another question and it is my own question just to make sure all of the concepts are covered regarding inventory valuation let me read the question for you guys mr ard was not feeling well for the week ending 31st december therefore the accounts were prepared by junior accountant okay so the closing inventory figure that was calculated by the junior was how much 24058 Mr. ARD charges a standard markup of 25% beta. Markup is being applied on what? On the cost of sale figure and margin percentage is being applied on what? On the revenue that is sales figure. And by applying both of these percentages, uh, we can find gross profit. Okay. So if you want to find gross profit, uh, if you are applying the percentage on the cost of sale, that percentage is known as markup. And if you are applying the percentage on the sales figure, that percentage would be known as margin percentage. After resuming his duty, Mr. Riyadi realized the following errors were present in inventory valuation. And now, as you can see, there were six errors that were present. What is the requirement, beta? We need to uh, prepare a statement of corrected inventory valuation. What we need to do, beta? We need to find the corrected inventory valuation. And how to do that? First of all, beta, we are going to the start. We are going to start with a draft inventory figure that as we we have already been provided with. And what is that? It is two four zero five eight. We are going to start with this two uh, two four zero five eight opening inventory. Uh, sorry, a uh, draft inventory figure. And this is two four zero five eight. And what we need to do, beta, one by one, we need to adjust our inventory with these uh, problems. So first adjustment that we had. Goods with a selling price of 1040 had be sent to customer on approval. Now, what is approval beta? Approval is also known as sale or return basis. Now, sir, what is sale or return basis? Uh, we have uh, offered someone uh, goods uh, at a selling price of this to one of our customers, but the customer doesn't seem to be interested in buying those goods. So, but we forced him to buy it. But again, he is not very uh, convinced with uh, these goods. So therefore, we offered him the goods on approval or sale or return basis. Now, what does this actually mean? This means we have offered him to just take goods for now and to keep it uh, in his shop. And uh, if these goods are actually sold, then he can buy the goods from us. And if he cannot uh, sell these goods, actually, the, he can uh, actually return these goods to us. Okay. So this is known as approval or sale or return. So basically, beta, we do not have these goods right now. These goods are with uh, the customer, but again, the customer has not yet agreed that he would buy these goods. So therefore, we would not consider those goods as sold. So therefore, we need to add these goods in our inventory. Okay. Now, the question here arises, sir, do we need to add the goods at a selling price or cost price? So beta, we take whatever value that is lower from the selling price or the cost price, we are always going to take the lower value. Okay, so the selling price is this, sir. How can we find the cost price? We need to deduct the gross profit from that. And for deducting gross profit, beta, we need to apply the percentage. Now, the question here arises, sir, on selling price, either we apply markup percentage or margin. So, beta, on selling price, we always apply margin, but we are being provided with what percentage markup. So, what we need to do, beta, we need to convert the markup percentage into margin. And how to do that beta? There is a formula for conversion from markup into margin. The formula is markup upon 100 plus markup. Okay. Markup upon 100 plus markup. And how much is the markup beta? Markup is 25%. Uh, G 25 upon 100 plus 25 would be 125. So if we apply 25 upon 125, I am left with margin that is 20%. If I apply 20% on the selling price, this would be the profit. And if I deduct the profit from the selling price, I am left with the cost price. So what I need to do, beta, I need to add up the cost price in this draft value in order to find the correct value. So although these goods are not with us right now, but these are still our goods. These are with the customer, but the customer can return those goods anytime they want. So therefore, we need to uh, make sure that these goods are still uh, added as part of our inventory. OK, because the customer has not yet agreed that they are actually going to buy those goods. Let's move to the next adjustment. Beta goods costing 2000 were purchased but excluded from inventory. So beta, if you have already bought something 
so these goods should be included are in our inventory okay so but we have excluded it uh, due to some reason so now it's time to include these okay so the purchase price is already the cost price we just need to add these inventory to our value uh, at these inventory in our stock okay just need to add this 2000 parcel of inventory third adjustment was water damage okay uh, these had originally cost us how much 390 but now can be sold for how many price uh, the price is 300 dollars after incurring repair cost so better there is an inventory valuation rule you must heard and the inventory shall always be valued at lower of cost and nrv so the cost is basically the original cost that the price that we have paid to buy those inventory and nrv is selling price or fair value minus uh, any additional cost okay to sell or to complete the sale to repair or maybe to pack or to deliver okay so what we need to do better the original cost was 390 and we need to find the nrv and how to find that selling price minus repair cost now the nrv is 250 so the goods that actually bought, bought, cost us 390 now can only be sold for how much 250 so we need to uh, keep it on the lower value and the lower value from 390 and 250 would be 250 so we actually have uh, bought it for 390 but now they can only be sold for how much 250 after incurring repair cost so what we need to do better we need to write down the inventory and the difference between the two would be reduced from the inventory value and as you can see the difference between the two is 140 dollar so we have already uh, valued the stock on 390 now it's time to reduce it by 140 in order to make this 240 so this is known as a net realizable value method okay nrv method of valuing inventory nrv so let's see note 4 inventory which has cost us how much 1200 dollar it is now out of fashion and would have to be sold for how much 400 less than cost so we have bought it for how much better 1200 but it would have been sold for 400 less than cost therefore the nrv is only 800 so if you have uh, kept the inventory at 200 but now we need to uh, make it uh, for for 800 so therefore we just need to reduce the value by how much we just need to reduce the value by 400 so we just need to reduce the value by 400 and finally better let's see note number five goods costing 950 which ard has acquired acquired means we have bought purchase on sale or return sale or return is same as approval okay it's another name for approval uh, now the difference is that uh, in node one we have actually sold the goods on sale or return okay or approval and in node number five we have bought the goods on sale or return so at this time we have not showed any intention to purchase the goods so but the thing is that we have these goods in our inventory but these are not our goods these are someone else's goods and uh, they have uh, by forcefully they have just kept these goods with us and we have uh, told them that we have we will return it uh, if they are not sold so we have not yet decided that we are buying this inventory so therefore these goods that have already been added in our inventory should be removed from the inventory figure why because we can return these goods anytime we want okay so these are basically not part of our inventory because we have not yet decided that we would buy this inventory okay so therefore i need to remove this inventory from my uh, valuation and finally but in note 6 goods with a selling price of 500 was sold we have sold these goods but awaiting collection by the customer but the customer has not yet collected these goods from our shop so no matter better if the customer takes this or not we have uh, already sold these goods we have charged the customer so therefore these goods should no longer be included in our stock these are not our own goods so therefore we should remove it in our in from our inventory now the question arises better we have sold these goods for 500 so uh, would we have uh, the cost of 500 as well no because this 500 is a selling price and this must also include our markup that is profit so what we need to do better we need to find the cost first because it would be the cost price that was actually included in our valuation of inventory so beta how to find the cost price for that uh, 500 beta is selling price okay and if we apply 500 and if we apply uh, margin for that and why are we applying margin beta markup is applied on cost of sale and margin is applied on sales 
सो बेटा हाउ टू कन्वर्ट फ्रॉम मार्कअप टू मार्जिन द फॉर्मूला वुड बी मार्कअप अपॉन हंड्रेड प्लस मार्कअप सो इफ मार्कअप इज ट्वेंटी फाइव देन मार्जिन वुड बी ट्वेंटी परसेंट ओके एंड द ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड इज हाउ मच हंड्रेड डॉलर एंड इफ यू हैव सोल्ड इट फॉर फाइव हंड्रेड हंड्रेड डॉलर इज बेसिकली आर प्रॉफिट सो द कॉस्ट प्राइस वुड बी वॉट फोर हंड्रेड डॉलर सो वी नीड टू रिमूव अवर इन्वेंट्री बाई फोर हंड्रेड बिकॉज दीज गुड्स आर नो लॉन्गर बिलोंग टू अस they these goods belong to the person whom we have actually sold the goods okay so if we adjust uh, these plus and minus and the final value would be our correct value of inventory and revise or corrected value of inventory is now 25000 and this would be the beta inventory that we are going to take it in the cost of sale opening at purchase less closing and this would be the value that will be shown in the sofp balance sheet under current assets